Have you got just a whole pile of these, but you're not satisfied with the results? Well, a few weeks ago, I posted in the community, what lure or what presentation are you most likely to give up on first? Out of all the different lures and presentations listed by far and away, the most respondents, nearly 50% of them said deep diving crankbaits were something that they would put down first, try it a few casts, not have the confidence and move on to something else. Well, why is that? There are many, many, many reasons, and I don't have time today to go into all of those. Those would be, be like a 12 hour video, but I wanna cover what I think is the number one factor that as anglers keeps us from having success with these lures and that by far and away is the amount of our presentation that this lure is actually working for us. With the nature of a deep diving crankbait, you've got this period of the cast where it's gotta get down to depth, when it's actually working, and then it starts to climb back up and come to us in the boat or if we're fishing on the shore, you know, starts that upward angle, and the time where it's doing its job, digging in the structure, banging and bouncing into all types of cover, it's just not that long. So when you take any presentation and you're only being efficient with it for just a short period of time, most of the time it's not gonna work for us and our confidence is going to be greatly diminished. And the deeper the diver that you put on, the more pronounced or exaggerated this problem is. If you're running one in that six foot, eight foot depth, it's still got that same dive angle where it's working and then coming back up in our recovery angle. But the deeper you go, the smaller that amount of perfect placement is going to be unless we get a few factors right. So I wanna cover four of those first. Number one is the speed at which we reel those crankbaits. A lot of times we hear that if we crank them down quick, they're gonna to get to depth fast that actually does not help. We want to the reel it at the correct speed, which is slower. And if you know much about crankbait or professional anglers that like to use crankbaits, you've probably run across the name David Fritz. He is one of the crankbait gurus out there on the professional circuits. And he is absolutely adamant about 21 inches of line recovery per turn. Well, that is a very low gear ratio reel. If you go ahead and take a look at this table here, and in this day and age of popularity with high speed gear ratios, just look at this. I mean, we're talking, you gotta get way down there. And when you go to many of your retail stores, it's not easy to find reels that have this gear ratio. And then there's a bunch of other factors that play in, the, the spool diameter, the diameter of the line, how much line is actually on the spool. All of those things are gonna change your inches of recovery per turn, but basically, just in a nutshell, you need to know that we're probably fishing them too quickly. Number two is the length of the cast. To get that lure to work there on the bottom for a longer period of time, we need a lot longer cast. This is why your, your dominant crake bait anglers, they use those seven, six, seven, eight, seven, ten composite casting rods that have some more whip to them and they can just fling those things way out there. If you watch some of the best crankbait anglers on YouTube or television, you're gonna just see them absolutely muscle that bait so, so far away. I'd hate to be a co-angler in the back. I'd be afraid of those big hooks coming back to get me because man, they wind up and let it go. But that is because they're trying to get that lure down to depth and where it's working for them for a longer period of time. Number three is one that I use all the time, and that is to use a crankbait that is rated to go slightly deeper than what you actually want to target. So if I'm fishing some water that's the eight to 10 foot, I may pull out a deep diver that is supposed to hit that 12 foot mark. And what that does, that helps me if I don't get my cast as long as it needs to be. If I mess up, I'm, you know, really, I get excited and reel it a little bit too quickly. If that deep diver is rated for that next level, it's gonna work for me a little bit longer. And there are times, especially when you wanna crawl a crankbait slowly, 
man, you really want that one that's rated for that next level and you can just really, you know, pound it into the bottom and just crawl it nice and slowly. And it, it's just a whole nother dimension, the deep divers that a lot of us don't utilize enough. And number four is the line that we use. I exclusively use fluorocarbon. It sinks, it cuts through the water nicely. And if I can get six more inches, eight inches, 12 inches more because of my line choice, that's gonna help me be more efficient and keep that lure in the zone longer. As far as pound test, a lot of times I'm going that 10, 12, 15, I tend to go up in size just because I hate to lose these lures. Um, you know, a buddy may ask me, hey, can I borrow one of those deep divers? Yeah, if you got 500 pound test on, you know, that's 10, 12, $15 bait. You hate to lose them. Now, there are many, many, many more topics that we can get into extreme detail with deep diving crankbaits to help all of us build our confidence with them. And I will be touching on those over the coming months. I'm mean, actually, I'm working on a crankbait course as well, a deep diving crankbait course. It's gonna take me a few months to put it together. So much filming to do, underwater filming to do, lots of really informative technical type stuff that I'm gonna put into this course. Now, if you're watching this video a few months after the release date, it may be down there. If you see a link down there, the course is finished. If you don't see a link down there, my hopes is towards the end of July or early August, 2021, it will be ready to go. And hey, if you would like to watch a video that talks about rethinking where we start to fish, what do we need to look for when we first get out there on the water, go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.